Welcome to the Electronics Tools for Beginners video series. I'm going to be doing a video every single day, so make sure you subscribe to make sure you don't miss those. Also be a playlist down in the description and at the end of the video as well to go and watch more of the video series. So make sure you check them out. So in this video I'm going to talk about wires and cables. Here's a section of wires, just start off with this. You may sort of think, oh, okay, it's a pretty simple thing, wire and cable. Well yes, I've actually done a video on this previously showing the current draw through a wire. I've actually shown this and shown the voltage drop that happens across that wire with the wire sizing being inadequate for that current. All wires and all cables will have voltage drop across the length of the cable because everything has resistance. doesn't matter how good it is, how thick the wire is, there's always some resistance. The thinner the wire, the greater the resistance, which is why when you're using higher currents, you need to use thicker wires. This wire here, for example, is rated 30 amps. This wire here is probably half an amp. That's probably one amp, maybe two amps. This, well, I don't know what that would be, hundreds of milliamps probably, but that's magnet wire, special hookup wire for doing repairs and stuff I use. So that's those. You have to consider the current when you're designing circuits or using wires for certain hookup situations. You have to make sure the wire is rated for the current. Sometimes you can actually live with a bit of voltage drop. It may not matter. You may not care about the voltage drop. And you might not care about a little bit of localised heating on the wire because the wire will heat up because it's a resistor. It's a really small value resistor, but it's still a resistor. So with a high enough current, it will actually heat up. So for example, if you put this wire here on a system which required a 10 amp current draw, this wire would get hot. It would melt the casing off it. The insulation would be melted off, may even catch fire. This isn't meant for that kind of current. It would transfer the voltage, it would transfer the current, until it acts like a fuse and, and blows up. But in that meantime, it can cause all kinds of problems. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Keeping a, a selection of wires around, different types, different sizes, different colours, you need those for electronics work. So you, then you can choose the appropriate wire for the job you're doing with a you know, colour scheme which is standardised, like red for positive, black for negative, for example. Like In my case, I use yellow for 12 volts. That's one of the colours I use. So I, if I know a wire colour inside a certain system which I've designed, I'll know that that colour represents that voltage. I mean this might be 5 volts if I've got a, a split system like that. Depends on what you're doing, how you organise yourself and how you decide to set yourself up for these sorts of things. But different kinds of wires, very important to have. So it's a nice simple little video. Check out the playlist here for the rest of the video series. There's a playlist here YouTube things you should watch. There's a subscribe link right here which I think you should do. Click on that if you're not subscribed already. And there's a Patreon support link over there if you want to help support the channel, help to make more content. Bye.